Saint. Today I will teach you how to set the printer and the router setting. Let's go and check. And then the router and the printer. For the router model, you can choose anytime. For this demo, I will use the Tenda router. Printer, it must be a thermal printer and it must be printed in the 80mm receipt number, receipt paper. Okay, so first, make sure the router is connect with the cable and then make sure the cable, the LAN, this is called the LAN cable, must be connect to the printer, as you can see. So, if you want to check whether it's connect or not, you can see there's a two LAN, the yellow and the orange. Okay, if it's blinking or it's connected, you show you will show it here. If you unplug the cable from here from the router, if I unplug it, one of the lamp will disappear, as you can see here. One lamp is disappear. If I plug in again, you show both. Okay. How do I check the printer IP address? Very simple. Find the button, turn off. So the lamp will turn off. Hold the feed button for 10 seconds and then you turn on again. And then one, two, three, four, five. I release it. You print out the receipt. Okay. So to refer you, as you can see that the IP address of this printer is 192.168.123.100. So this is the IP address. Okay, make sure the router is on and then go to the setting. Okay. Connect to the router. So this time I use is the Tenda router. To check the Tenda router IP address, I will click here, the I button. And then as you can see, the router number is 192.168.1.1 So this is the IP address But since the printer IP address, you can see from here, is 168.123 So I need to change it to 123 so that both of the devices can uh, communicate together So I go to the Safari Okay, I click for the number is 192.168.1.1 Okay, wait for the loading So as you can see, go to the setting I will change it, the IP address for the third number will be 123.1 Because I want to make sure that they are the, in the same, what we call uh, the same IP address for the third number So that both device, the printer and router can communicate together And then I click OK for apply the changes okay after the setting go to take click i and check the ip address again so as you can see the ip address already changed to 192.16.123.1 so now it can communicate to the printer already so if you want to double check go to safari key in the ip address of the i the printer It will show that this if you want to change the IP address to become the third, the one, two, three becomes zero, or you change any number that you favorite, go to the configuration and then you change here. For example, I want to change it to zero, and then my gateway address must change to zero. And then I click save and then I click restart. So you can hear the beep sound. Okay. So if you want to double check, go to the printer again. Do the same thing, turn off, switch off, hold the feed button, turn on again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, release. So as you can see, this time the printer setting, the IP address is 192.166.0.100 and it's 0. Make sure the IP address, the third number 0, is same with the net gateway is 0 0.1. Now we go back to our router setting, change into 0. So, different router will have the different setting uh, for changing the IP address. I change to 1 and then click OK. Once you finish the setting, go to the Genius Post, go to the setting, and then go to the printer setting. You change it, follow the number 0 0.100 and save. If you want to make, double check, just click the test print. So, you can see, you repeat out the receipt already. So the setting done. Thanks for watching.